Hi everyone, it's meteorologist Terry Swales, and it is Sunday, December 1st. Holy cow, 25 days until Christmas, get your shopping done. And boy, do I have a lot of that to do. Well, weather-wise, lots of things to discuss here as we get into our Sunday briefing. One of those will be cold temperatures that will arrive later this week, and the other revolves around the potential for any snow systems as this cold air gets established. And I wanted to take a look at the satellite imagery first here, and you can already see some atmospheric changes underway here that's going to impact the weather around the country as we continue through the week here. Notice all the clouds in the Pacific Northwest, a very energetic jet stream punching into that part of the country. Also, the subtropical jet stream getting a little more active now. You can see all the moisture coming across Mexico and heading into the south central U.S. So the first disturbance we'll deal with comes across the northern tier of the United States, the upper Midwest expecting snow out of that, particularly the Dakotas and northern Minnesota. And then behind that, another system, and that's the one that's a little more complicated, but it should bring some snow to maybe the eastern Midwest and the Ohio Valley as we get towards the late week period. First things first, let's talk about the cold air. And here is what the jet stream is expected to look like on Thursday. And actually, this is the anomaly here. And where you see those colors of green and purple, that's where much below normal heights are expected to be found. In other words, there's a big, big trough over the western United States in a massive ridge up in Alaska. And that is allowing cold air to flow into the western United States. And that's gradually going to be working its way out in a couple of chunks here as we get towards the end of the week. So definitely a lot of cold air diving into the western United States. Out ahead of that, a couple of days of fairly mild temperatures around many parts of the Midwest. The exception would be the northern sections up into Minnesota and the Dakotas. That's where some snow is expected to be found as the lead shortwave comes across the upper Midwest. So as that comes on by, look what it does then later on in the week. It digs that trough all the way into the eastern United States and the cold air gets a free ride into the central U.S., and that's when things start to get very cold here in the Midwest. In fact, this is the temperature anomaly for Saturday. This is off the European, and some of the temperatures here, again, running 20, 25 degrees below normal, a lot of locations, and that is going to keep highs only in the teens around Iowa and Illinois, even worse up to the north in Minnesota, especially where there's any snow on the ground. Sub-zero highs expected in North Dakota, South Dakota, and Minnesota. That is some pretty cold air for this time of the season. Now I guess if there's any good news in all this, it does look like by December 16th the pattern should relax a little bit. You can see a little ridge bouncing up there over the eastern United States. The, the coldest heights move back up into the Pacific Northwest, but you can still see that red and orange area up there in Alaska. That ridge is still up there, so the cold is going to reload in Canada and eventually should pounce back into the Midwest sometime oh, probably after December 18th, 19th. So we won't be done with it, but I don't think we're going to keep in this deep freeze that we're going to get into this weekend for overly long. But still, below normal temperatures. Don't see anything fantastic as far as warmth is concerned after this cold air arrives. So that brings us to the snow. And uh, yesterday, I, I showed a, quite a bit of snow up in Minnesota and the Dakotas. No changes on that, that first system, which brings the cold air is definitely going to drop some nice snows off to the north. Then, as that goes on by, we get our second system to form down to the south. And it really does not look today like that's going to be an organized area of low pressure. So once the cold air stops a little bit to the southeast of Iowa, some minor ripples along that will generate what's known as overrunning precipitation. And you can see a lot of snow showing up here on the European from southeastern Missouri into southeastern Illinois yesterday that was shown much further to the northwest. So what's happened here is that the new runs of the models have pushed the cold air even further to the south and it is so deep that that moisture can't get back up into Iowa and Illinois so that's pushing the snows further on to the south, at least into southeastern Illinois and southeast Missouri. That's also confirmed here by the GFS. You can see it's doing something similar, keeping the heavier snows well to the south of Iowa and northern Illinois. So essentially what's going to happen here, and I think this is pretty much the deal now, I'm, I'm confident this is the final solution. We're going to see a good band of snow going across the north, and another one that forms down in Missouri and heads up into the Ohio Valley. And while some light snows or flurries will be likely in Iowa and Illinois, the big weather feature around the central Midwest is just going to be the cold temperatures that will be arriving here in, in here towards the end of the week. 
So I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of snow in Iowa or Illinois out of this system, and I am quite certain that is going to be the outcome now. So we won't have to deal with that issue anymore. It looks like the weather models have shown their hands. So old man winter definitely going to be rushing into the country here in the next four or five days. Lots of cold temperatures, and for some of you, there will be some snow around. And that's your Sunday briefing. Thanks for checking me out here. And as always, roll weathered.